three different things to get this automated reply working. The first thing you'll need to do is click over here to forms and you'll see some different forms that Dubsado has just added to your new account. These are just sample forms, but we want to pay attention to this lead capture form. So you can come over here and you can edit any of these fields or add new ones. Um, this is the form that you will be adding to your contact page of your website. So once we've done that, we will come over here to the settings and this is where we will apply our workflow. But we're gonna head back to this after we make sure the workflow is all set up. So first we need to click into the workflows and once again, you'll see a sample workflow here, but we're gonna go ahead and create a new workflow and we're gonna just name it test for now. Um, once you do that, you can select the payment plan if you want to. If you don't have any payment plans attached, you don't need to worry about any of that just yet. So this is just for a general inquiry. So chances are you're not gonna attach any kind of invoice or payment plan to this um, inquiry. So what you're gonna do is just click add action and you're going to send an email and then you'll choose the email to send, which will be the canned response. Again, Dubsado puts all of these sample emails in here and we're just gonna choose the general inquiry response. And then you can see it thanks them for reaching out. It lets them know that you're excited to learn more about the project and also that they can follow, expect to follow up within 24 to 48 hours. So this is perfect. This is really all you need to um, make sure that this email gets to them and that they know what to expect. So you'll just hit apply. And that's it. So then if you'd like to change that, that email that was going out, you can click over here to canned emails and you can come in here and click general and change any of this up. Um, I do want to mention that there's a brain, there's a signature that will be inserted at the bottom of every email here. And the way to switch that up or change it is by coming to canned emails and clicking signature. So here you can put an image, um, your social media handles, your web address, anything like that. So this is completely editable and it will go at the bottom of any of those emails. So now that we've got our workflow set up in our canned email, we'll come back to that form, the contact form. And um, under settings here again, now you will do the drop down and select that test workflow. So once they fill out this form, they'll see a thank you message. You also have the option of redirecting them to another page. Uh, maybe you have a website page that thanks them and then invites them to your Facebook group or something like that. But to keep it simple, you can just do this thank you message and that's it. You'll just click save form. And then of course you'll want to embed this form onto your website. So the way to do that is to just copy this code and then you'll embed it onto your website. If you're using a show it website, you can just add a code embed code box and then you'll just pop this right in and it'll populate on the contact page and then you can just click save and it'll be good to go.